Jeremy TV. Hey guys, Jeremy here. I'm coming at you from Southern Oklahoma on a warm January day. Temperature's about 60 degrees, which isn't terribly unusual for our part of the world for this time of year. But usually you can bet that when it gets warm like this, you've got some cold coming your way. And that seems to be the case. I think come tomorrow night, maybe, or Tuesday, we've got some cold temperatures on the way. But I've got a quick project I want to work on today. It was a very spur of the moment, last minute decision to do this little project. But as as you may remember I cut down a big elm tree and I've got this brush pile left over here in the southwest corner of the place and we got all the big stuff taken down that's where the tree was right against the fence we got um, all the big stuff moved to the brush pile but there's still all this little stuff laying on the ground and I'd like to get it done I just kind of walked over here and was throwing some junk into the little brush pile to burn later and I thought you know I could bring the tractor over here and maybe use the box blade or the front end loader just kind of rake that up I had initially thought maybe I would pick that up by hand and put it on the trailer but I don't really want to do that um, that's a lot to pick up really it doesn't look like it but it is and I'm kind of lazy so I'm gonna see if I can use the box blade initially I thought maybe dropping the the ripper teeth down and using them as a rake would work but there's so little space between the teeth and the tires that I was afraid that it'd pile stuff up and just make a bigger mess than it solved so my thought is to just pull up over here with a tractor back up with the box blade just barely above the ground just kind of push it all back to the brush pile which is now about 80 or 100 feet away I don't know if it'll work or not. If that doesn't work, I can always drop the bucket down and kind of let it drag that stuff back or maybe skim it and push it. I don't know. And it may still be too wet. It's dried a lot compared to what it was when we cut that tree down, but it's still kind of soggy. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. may not be able to get the traction that I need, but I'm going to try it. And, uh, you know, if I don't get it done, then you'll never see this video. And if you're watching this video, then I was able to get some part of it done. Um, another thing is I hadn't had the tractor out in two or three weeks and thought it'd be a good opportunity to get it out and run it a little bit.
Before I sign off, I want to give a quick shout out to Aaron and his wife Beth over at Black Sparrow Ranch. That's a YouTube channel that I watch regularly. And um, Aaron and Beth are fellow Oklahomans. They live north and a little bit west of where I live, but uh, they've got a very similar place to ours. They've got a house and I think 25 acres and they have cats and llamas and ducks but if you get a chance check out their channel they've got a lot of neat stuff they're a really neat couple who just seems to enjoy each other's company and um, their, their channel's a lot of fun to watch if you get a chance check it out i'll put the link down in the description for their their youtube channel there at black sparrow ranch and check them out they're a whole lot of fun i've talked a lot with aaron over the last few months um, and just via youtube and and um, you know we've shared ideas and different thoughts on different projects and while we've never met i feel like i know him pretty well and he, he seems like a good dude so he dogged on me about some of the uh, audio issues i have with wind noise in some of my videos and uh, i hope he is happy to learn that i have got some little uh, lavalier mic uh, dead cat covers for wind noise reduction so those should be in one day this coming week hopefully that will help with the wind noise problem okay so as you can see that was a really quick project i figured it would be i thought it would either work quickly or it would not work and it looks like it did a pretty good job i'm pretty happy with it and um, there was a few stragglers that i was able to pick up and throw and yeah i could have thrown them in the bucket and dumped them in there but it would have been less fun than just chucking them off into the pile so um, it's mostly done i'll show you here there's some stragglers that I was not able to get with the uh, box blade, but it got the big majority of them. There's still a couple little pieces, but this stuff I can pick up and drop in there, and I have about 10 more minutes of picking up, and I can have this perfectly clean. And then what's not up, I can just brush hog, and first time I run over, it'll turn it to mulch and go back in the soil. So I'm not real worried about it. It looks pretty good. That's a lot easier than spending an hour and a half out here picking that stuff up by hand and putting it on a trailer and having to drag it over and unload it. Or even worse, picking it up by hand and walking it over to the pile. Just didn't want to do that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. It was, again, a quick project. I'm glad it went by quickly. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and uh, glad to mark another thing off the list. I've got several projects that need to be done quickly. Um, here within the next probably two or three weeks I'm going to bring two more trailer loads of gravel in for the driveway and get it built up a little bit I've still got to solve the issue of the drainage on the west side of the driveway now, I've got plans for it I just hope it works out how I'm planning I'm, I'm going to put a culvert underneath the the driveway and from west to east side and let it drain underneath but I've got to get the water to that low spot and I hope I'm able to grade it correctly and get that done I need to put a floor in my flatbed trailer this year. I've been threatening for three years to do that, and this year needs to be the year that I get that done. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and if you did, give it a thumbs up for me. That helps the channel. If you like the type of stuff that we do here, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments or just want to check in where you're watching from, go ahead and drop that in the comment section right down below. Thanks for being here, and I hope to see you again soon.